On today's episode of the Vintage Price Market, number four. Any guesses so far? So many options. We got there. Yo Noid, the mascot from Domino's Pizza in the late 80s, early 90s. Now, Domino's Pizza's origins lie in the Ann Arbor Ypsilanti area, including their current world headquarters, known as Domino's Farms. It's always been a unique corporate setting with a pasture of bison. Around Christmas time in the 90s, they used to do a drive through Christmas light display that we'd go to, but they stopped that some years past. My dad happened to work there for a spell in the late 80s, early 90s. At that time, the branding of Domino's Pizza was at an all-time high, having been featured in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film from 1990. Merchandising of the Noid mascot was pervasive, especially in my area. My dad was able to bring home gaggles of stuff, including this Noid Christmas ornament of him busting through a reef and a green cap that I sullied with a Sharpie marker. But times have changed, and a lot of people don't remember the Noid or weren't even exposed to him. First up, we have these bendable figures. It's a six-incher. It seems these like these are going on eBay routinely, 12 plus shipping, 15 plus shipping. So you could still get these for under 20 bucks and even cheaper at times. I think this one's a bit of a steal. This is a mint on card one. I've never even seen the card and don't remember it. But this is a 1988 one. Bendy toy went for 20 plus shipping December 11th. Then there's these smaller PVC figures that were really popular at the time. They did Raisin ones. They did Garfield ones. I think this might be the set. There might be a few more, but they're these miniature like 2 inch, 3 inch Noid figures. We got one in boxing gloves, one with a drill, and then another angry one. And then one with like a wizard hat and wand. These are going for under t- about 25 for the set, 20 bucks. You can get them under 20 bucks usually. And this one sold for 25 on December 12th. Changing it up here, we got Vintage Avoid the Noid Domino's Drinking Glass 1988. Him lounging on a beach. With a parasol and a straw drink, probably lemonade. No pizza in sight though, what's up with that? So we have that one went for what do we got here? 15 plus 8 for shipping. Nice little score there. Haven't seen the glass, didn't have any of the glasses. This one only went for about six bucks total, including shipping on December 20th. It's an 80s bookmark. It says call Domino's Pizza. That might have been handed out. A lot of these were handed out when you ordered pizza, and we ordered pizza a lot. Don't remember having this one. We had a few magnets, though. So these plushes seem to be good sellers. This was a $37 one that went back in December from the 1980s. He's really diminutive and elfish-like, so... And then there's different styles. I think they do bigger ones, but this was an older one. He's even got a pen on him. And then there's this other larger one that went for about 45 total. And yes, if you're unfamiliar, it was kind of unpopular, but I had this one growing up. The Yo Noid on NES, the original Nintendo. It's going for under 20 bucks now. It seems like the retro game market is starting to slip just a tad. Of course, these games are going to still hold their value overall. And there's a market for them, a huge market for them. But the inflation is starting to really shank people, it seems. Because this was going routinely for like 25, 30 bucks. Now it's slipping down to like 15, 20 bucks on eBay. And I need to grab me one. I still haven't had mine since the 90s. I haven't played this in forever. It has the villainous green noid, if you look in here. Awesome. It really gets... um, It really gets criticized online in every review I've seen on it on YouTube, primarily. And not too many people grew up with it, so they don't have nostalgia for it. I do. So when I play it, no matter how frustrating it is, I love it. 
what did we learn today about Noid Toys, the Domino's Pizza? So we learned that there's some value there still. It's a smaller market. These would probably be a little more expensive if it was popular. Um, the stuffed animals seem to go for pretty good money out of all the collectibles. The bendy toys and PVC aren't seen as as valuable. If you want to collect it, then it's pretty cheap to get into it. Uh, the advertising is pretty distinguishable. So if you see it, if you see those red bunny ears, that's a Noid figure. And overall, and even the NES game with the manual is still pretty affordable. That's what I'm holding out for. You could still get that for around 30 35 bucks. Manuals are going up on NESs for every game. As the years go by, obviously the paper starts to dissipate. Today's epilogue. Maurice Ferret, rookie. Oh my god, shut up, dude. It's just cheesing too, like, hey, it ain't gonna work out, man, but... Yeah, these are all from yeah. ESPN, the magazine, and yep. the Ann Arbor News Sports section. You got some nice ones of uh, Charles Rogers, too. Yep, thought he was going to be something. These guys went in the he same draft, else. too, Andre Johnson that year. Roethlisberger? Yeah, I knew he was going to be good, but then Charles Rogers was the Just local a, favorite. A random draw show? Yeah. <laughs> That was indicative of the era. Look, man, Vince it was Vince Wolfolk had a great career. Mike Williams. Wow. Drafted by the Lions. Braylon Edwards. John Navarre. Oh, yeah, that was that. a great game at Oregon in 03. What else you see that stick out to you? Uh, John Gruden. Adrian Peterson. The Bucks. He was a beast in college. Willis, Willis McGahey. McGahey. Look at that. Corner. 2002 was his year. Corner Ten, billing. 20 year anniversary of that. Oh, Ricky Williams, remember? He would get suspended for smoking weed on the Dolphins. <laughs> you got a Chad Henney. <laughs> Look at Aaron Rodgers. I was really high on him at the time. I, yeah, had, well, you were right. this game where he was like 21 for like 23, and I was like, okay, he's going to be really good in college. And he just had a great throwing motion and. There he is again. Packers drafted him. I like this Henny jumping Farf across. Farf had to go to the rival, the Vikings. What the fuck is this, Darko? Darko. <laughs> Darko. <laughs> drafted second overall right after LeBron James. We should have took Carmelo game, Anthony, but we took Darko. They were like, <laughs> he was playing with 30-year-olds in Europe. He's, just, he's, he's a awesome. boy among, He's a man among bullet He's a superstar. This seems Even though like he's a boy. When I gave to I like that was at the Notre Dame. That was against Notre Dame, I think. That was like his national breakout. He had like a huge game. Dude, I would love to watch some of those games again. You got a random Jerry Rice down Yeah, here. on YouTube, a lot of those games are getting put up and stuff from people nice. and more advanced and it's good to it's sweet to go back like i got to watch the 2001 michigan at washington huskies game on on youtube and there was a game where brady played breeze in purdue in 99 all right don't tell me because i don't you even gotta remember see dude. that They're all like right both is it on there the top 15. it's on there yeah yeah it's on youtube okay it's wow an amazing game you gotta wow. watch it